Hi, my name's Tom Cook. I'm an emergency physician. I practice in South Carolina with Prisma Health and the University of South Carolina. And this is a short video on ultrasound of the inferior vena cava. The importance of this examination uh, relates to understanding the volume status of your patient, and particularly in emergency medicine as well as other specialties. This is critical information for appropriate management. To perform this examination, you are going to use either a curvilinear or a phase array transducer. You'll place this in the sagittal plane, just in the area under the xiphoid process. And what you're trying to do is pick up the longitudinal structure that comes across the bottom of the screen. It's important when you do this that if you drift too far to the left, you'll pick up the aorta, and sometimes that'll confuse people, but obviously the aorta is a pulsatile structure and has relative uniform width uh, as it goes across the screen. But by just moving a little bit to the right, you'll pick up the inferior vena cava, which has a highly variable appearance based on the respiratory and cardiac cycles. The importance, again, of this exam relates to volume status. And so, as one might predict, if a patient has a low volume status from bleeding or sepsis or dehydration, the inferior vena cava will be flat and will not have a very dynamic appearance when you're scanning. By contrast, if you have a situation where you have an elevated central venous pressure from a number of different pathologies, such as right heart failure, or an obstructive pathology, such as pulmonary embolism, pericardial effusion, or tension pneumothorax, the central venous pressure would be very high and the IVC would appear stiff and dilated. So in summary, ultrasound examination of the inferior vena cava provides a surrogate indicator for the relative volume status of the patient and can help you in making very important management decisions both in the emergency department and other types of bedside clinical scenarios.